Hi friends, I'm Sita. Today I'm going to tell that on AIS. What is that? There may be some question comes to mind. What is AIS? AIS means artificial immune system. Now maybe something some question comes to mind that why we can use it. What is that? Many question comes in your mind. So let me explain what is that. Why we can use it? Now we already reached in 21 century. Everywhere you will find means the uses of computer internet even if everywhere you will find the uses of technology whether you are in home or any office or any big companies everywhere you will find technology if it is technology means it has something positive as well as something negative effect now i am going to talk about only computer system and internet the uses of internet and how it uh, affects us our life and how we can save ourselves from our home to our big offices everywhere you will we use the computer from the child to old everyone knows the uses of computer and computer internet is a very vital source right now for any business purpose for any kind of uh, personal purpose educational purpose everywhere you will find the vast use of internet for for our uh, for this uh, and uh, for more dependency on computer and internet now there is something fear we fear right now that is threatening of means that is the fear due to virus so maybe their question comes to mind that what is virus because we know that virus in our body but we don't know that virus in the computer system then maybe some question comes to your mind that what is virus so let me explain what is virus virus means a malicious code in a computer system many languages are there like c c plus plus java oracle and uh, any kind of language any uh, high level language Perl, html many languages are there especially we are using in a computer c c plus plus high level languages java html these are the server script server script means uh, we are using that on internet so virus also a malicious code we are that we are injecting into our computer system so what is actual work it our it changed the coding system and this just paralyzes our code means it just paralyzes that part like our body system so first the computer virus was detected on 1986 from that day to till now more means near about 55,000 more than that viruses was detected so now it is if, uh, if we are using most um, more, more amount of uh, means we are using the uh, so much means uh, you uh, internet and everywhere whether you are in office or whether you are at home everywhere we use it for our personal work so it's a very big problem because it's very difficult to save ourselves from virus so now we are thinking that how we can save ourselves from the viruses for this reason many companies has released anti malware software and nowadays it's kind of old process because nowadays many viruses are there many different kind of viruses mean every viruses has different kind of ports and it's not too easy to detect them all and you can take any example also trojan virus trojan is virus is very dangerous and here you, a person the person who has sent you that virus that person control your whole system means you have no power on your computer system that, pa that person holds the whole power of your computer system so trojan virus is very dangerous and it's not too easy to detect so like that many viruses are day by day if means detecting many viruses many coding are there if the companies are intelligent hackers are more intelligent so they are also trying to uh, make or uh, so uh, so much difficult virus, so much intelligent virus, which um, anti malware also can detect. So now, it's a big headache for everyone that 
how we can save ourselves because in our computer system we are saving our important data important uh, we do every day daily work every day we do work means we use the internet for the internet the world is now interconnecting each other means we are communicating we are communicating with one country to another country every kind of important work also we are doing so if our system is totally unsecure then how can you say think that our data will be secure so it's a very important issue so our, so our scientists thought that how we can save ourselves from the viruses so they uh, they uh, take the use of his principle so there may be some option that what is his his means human immune system means we all know that how in our body in how human body how the viruses work based on that we scientists use that technology in our computer system the first immuno computing system was de in, uh, developed in 1990 after that 1994 it was means based on computer security even if in ais many uh, uh, many fields are there like anomaly detection fault detection uh, uh, vi um, viral detection many there many fields are there and i am only working on uh, a computer security part so here i am going to tell that many things about how we can secure our computer how it works actually how ais works and what is the uses of it AIS is a now a recent topic and now also researchers uh, researchers working on that even if many researchers also get the satisfied result and it also give they also means uh, they also get or uh, they also success here and uh, it's all based on our human body but how our human body actually works on based on that they are using that principle on our on computer system because you know body also whenever any pathogens or foreign particle uh, attack our body at that time we also fall in ill like that in our computer system when any foreign pathogen or foreign articles like uh, virus attack our computer system at that time also it become paralyzed or it become like dead so it based on that we are using ais principle so how before going to my computer system now i'm going to tell that how actually viruses or how our pathogens actually work in our body in our body we know we are the people we know we have the conscious mind that no that we know that person that the person we have seen that person before so that uh, that person i know that person if i don't know that person because i have never seen it's like we know we, because we have the brain but how, what our inner body means what the our own uh, pathogens or anti uh, sorry antigens or antibody are doing they have no brain they have no any kind of senses so how can they know about it you have might have know about the lock and key method means uh, a lock only can means a key can uh, a lock can be open in only one key so like that like that in our body also pathogens and under path of and uh, sorry antigens and antibodies are there they are just matching means if anything is matching with their so structure no it's our it's our body means uh, it's matching with our system means it's our um, it's our uh, our uh, body cells it our cells it's not matching means they are just reject means it's maybe viral or it may be any uh, anything any outside matter antigens or it may, may be outside pathogens so they are just working on negative selection principle means negative selection principle is self and non self means self means i know you means you are self i don't know you means you are not non self means how the our pathogens and uh, sorry how our antigens and antibody is what are working means they are just detecting whether part of the uh, means uh, they are just de detecting every particles mean if they if that particle knows means if that particle match with their pattern means okay it's our pattern means it our body cells not matching means not our body cells so on that basis means they are working so like that also in our computer system 
वी आर ऑल्सो डूइंग दैट मीन्स पैटर्न मैचिंग पैटर्न मैचिंग हायरिकल वायरस डिटेक्शन मॉडल मेनी मॉडल्स आर दे आर वायर यू कैन वायर वी कैन यूज टू डिटेक्ट द वायरस इन पैटर्न मैचिंग ऑल्सो इन आवर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एवरी थिंग इज रूटेन इन ए कोडिंग सिस्टम इट्स जस्ट मैच मीन्स एनी वायरल मेन एव एनी वायरल सिस्टम और वायरल कोड एंटर्स इन आवर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इट्स जस्ट मैच वेदर इट मैच विथ आवर एक्चुअल वायरल को एक्चुअल कोड नो इफ मैच मीन्स इट आवर लीगल कोड इफ नॉट मैच मीन्स इट्स वायरल कोड मे बी इट एनी कोड मीन्स एनी फॉरन मीन्स इट्स ए वायरल वायरस सो ऑन दैट बेसिस इट्स वर्क ऑन दैट सो वाट्स द वायरस एक्चुअली डू इन आवर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम so before going to tell that what is going means what it work in a computer system now i'm going to tell what it work in our human body cells in our human body cells whenever any virus attack first of all virus get on your body cells after that it's a whole part it can't enter into body it just enter its dna part and after that just it uh, the other parts just uh, eject means uh, only it enter its uh, dna part after entering uh, its dna part into a cell that dna part replicate and it make thousands of copies and all the dna part make a new virus so and within a very few days or few second or few term, few hour our body fully infected by the virus so like that our body means viruses actually work yeah whether you can take any example like aids virus cancer virus they are on control we can't control those viruses because they are developing or they are replicating in a very fast way so like based on that principle our uh, in our computer system also viruses are working on that means uh, they whenever any malicious is code injected to our computer system the bhair the they inject the their dna part into our coding system and they are after that they become dead and that core bhair their dna replicate and they makes thousands of copies and it actually in the malicious code what is actually do it just change our coding system it just change the bar, change our versions and it affect any part any part of computer computer system you can say that it can't Means, uh, uh, in, it can't infect any part. It can infect uh, any part, and it can infect your boot boot system also. So virus is a very dangerous, and it can harm your computer system wholly. So we have to take care of it. That how we can save our system because if a virus attack means if a if the virus attack our board, attack our computer system means our computer system will be wholly dead, like our body. when up any virus means cancer virus or hiv virus uh, means um, attack us what our ultimate laser we become dead like that our computer also do so on that this basis now we are using that ais principle here we are working on it means how we can de- uh, how we can detect in virus or anomaly detection means nowadays anomaly or fraud detection many fraud detection means thousands of people are using our internet so how can you detect that the person is real person person or not it's a very big issue because many people are there it's not too easy to detect someone so fraud detection virus detection many detection are there for you can use this principle so now i am working on that it's my project paper i am working single here even if uh, you can go through the link which is given below here you can go through the link uh, uh, through the link so that you can get more thing about it and uh, i have uh, means this is my project paper and i have written one small uh, small um, algorithm also there you can go through the algorithm and see the also how the algorithm actually works and uh, i have given only few ideas few fundamental word ideas there so that you can get know what is ais so that is only a basic basic idea i have given whatever the, whatever i have written there so that it can help you to know about the basic thing after finishing my all work i will show you what i actually wants to do what and we, this is uh, this uh, algorithm is purely written by me and another algorithm is now i am writing 
and uh, after that also i have seen that many research i have read all the research work and they are working on a different different works and i have think about a new idea and which i goes to share means which i go uh, means going to implement it after implementing that whole work after doing finishing my whole work i'll publish it in i will show you at that time so till that day i can i can tell my that new idea here means after finishing my work after completing my whole project paper i can show you and i can tell you after that what actually going in my mind and what and which thing we can use to detect the virus and which topic means which in which model that is a different model which i wants to implement it hope you like that means it's i i am just working on that so hope you all understand that what i means to say and uh, here also what is the uh, what is given that uh, algorithm that is based on the pattern matching pattern matching means uh, here i have taken three uh, three coding one is pseudo code one is vir viral code another one is legal code legal code means that match with your computer system viral code means virus and legal and pseudo code means it may be your viral code or your legal code so it match with three code if the legal code match with your pseudo code means pseudo code is a viral code if not match means it's a legal code and it also detect that viral code so here i am just giving you a small a small uh, uh, algorithm to uh, how you can use the pattern recognition to know the virus or to detect the virus this is a small algorithm here and i'm just going to write another algorithm for this and uh, i am just working on this on a very vast way because i love to love the computer security part hope in my next semester also i am working on that so that you can get more ideas on it and uh, i am working and i am also giving my new idea also i am going to implement my new idea very soon so that you can see what i actually mean to do so it's so good for till that day because even if my exam also coming so i have to prepare for that also so hope you all understand me that what i wants to say hope you all like it hope you understand me and uh, i am just saying that i am just telling that i am not too good in english so hope you understand me means uh, hope you ignore my small small mistakes so hope you like my whole part hope you get some information what is as of you get some basic idea on it and uh, i need your blessings or prayer uh, and i need your support also so that i can develop in my future life so please support me please give me your uh, suggestions that how it is so that i can get so that i can think about a good future thank you all thank you